Hello everybody, my name is Jake and we're back in Valheim. Nate's back with us this week. Um, we can actually hear him this time. That's good. Um, Hi guys, this is Nate. Welcome back, welcome back to Valheim. Um, but yeah, so we're feeling a little, a little lazy today. We didn't want to go off exploring again and possibly die again. Well, Nate didn't die. I died. But, so we've got some iron smelted up, and we've got to figure out what we want to do with that, and we're probably going to build a new house today. So. What's new with you, Nate? Um, not much. You guys missed it. Uh, we, we're on day 69 right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah, I was looking at the... The crafting bench upgrades. Do you have any chains in your inventory? No. Dang it. Because we are one chain short from having a bellows. We have three, and if we had four, we could have a bellows, put it next to the forge, and be able to upgrade our bronze armor to level four. Huh. But I mean, we could also oh. use iron and build like a... I think the other upgrades are a tool rack. Yeah, a tool rack takes 15 iron, or a smith's anvil takes 20. That's cool. I will leave it up to you what you want to do. Um, I, I don't know, because I, I want iron weapons, because the next boss, we're going to want iron weapons. Right. And I know myself, personally, I'd like to have an iron shield. We've got those serpent scales. You could have a serpent scale, scale shield. Where'd we put those? Right there? Yeah. So we could have serpent scale shield and an iron shield. Hmm. And that would be helpful for the next boss fight. It would be. But... I don't know. It's raining and muggy. Uh, muggy. <laughs> Cups everywhere. Oh! You want to hear what happened to me recently? Sure, what's up? So, my brother-in-law uh, was... He was in Georgia for a... Uh, I can't remember what it was called. It was like a collegiate engineering course thing. Like, cool. it, was, it was like a two-week little program where they learned soldering and breadboards and all that good stuff. Soldering and gamoring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep on. Uh, <laughs> But, um, so he was flying back into town, and, uh, they accidentally scheduled his flight home for the wrong day, so my sister-in-law was at work, so she wasn't able to go get him, so, um, Biz and I and Phoenix went to go get him, and, I mean, those of you that don't know, I have agoraphobia, so leaving my house is stressful. Um, <laughs> needless to say... A two and a half hour drive to Kansas City it was not a pleasant experience. Um, on top of that, uh, partway there, like we we're honestly 10 minutes away from the airport, Phoenix vomits all over herself. Just like she's covered, like head to toe. And because she got car sick. And because, I mean, it's been a while since she's been on a journey that far. Like, we don't do long drives very often. So she got car sick, throws up everywhere, and then we're like, we can see signs for the airport, we can see the airport in the distance, let's just, we'll get to the airport and then we'll clean her up there. And so we get to the airport and we just pull into the first gate we come to so we can take Phoenix out and wipe her down and get her all clean. Mm -hmm. And so I have straight talk, which is, I mean, it's okay, but it's cheap and sometimes you have crappy service. And when we got to the airport, my service just decided, nope, we're, you, you don't have cell service today. Like, that's not a thing. And so I just had like zero cell service. <laughs> and I was trying to get in touch with my brother-in-law to find out which terminal he was at and where he was like waiting for us. Mm -hmm. And I literally got a hold of him long enough to say, hey, where are you at? And then the phone disconnected. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then we found out we were at the wrong terminal. Eventually got a hold of him again. 
and like got to where he was and he was like totally fine and chill but my father-in-law was like where the heck are you guys you guys are an hour late to pick up time i was like i'm sorry my toddler threw up all over the place and like it's been a long day for us it has not been a pleasant experience <laughs> also we're picking up your son so like calm down a little maybe <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, no, it was, it was it was a crazy day, and then we drove back and like we stopped for food, and it was pretty uneventful after that. Ooh, how long of a drive is it? It's like two and a half hours. That's not bad. That's like driving from here to Payson. Yeah, I mean you can do it in two hours if traffic's okay. But it was as soon as we got to Kansas, it was it was pretty crazy. Yeah. Cool. Anything we, else on uh, recently? I have another board game coming in the mail. Nice. What game is that? Uh, it's another one of the Tiny Epics. It's called Tiny Epic Galaxies. Um, nice. You have a fleet of spaceships, and you can send them to different planets to collect resources and um, stuff like that. I haven't played it yet, obviously, because it hasn't come yet. It'll be coming tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. Also, I know you've been stupid busy, so you haven't seen it yet, but um, I did an episode recently called, um, it was Flavor of the Month is what I titled it, and Mm -hmm. I just, I showcase, uh, the idea is to have a new series where I showcase whatever game I'm playing passively in my spare time, Mm -hmm. Uh, because I mean, like, I'll pick up a game like Valheim and play like three or four hundred hours of it. And then, Mm -hmm. like, I'll find something else to do because I've played a ton of it already. Right. So, like, I play this because I'm recording it. But other than that, I I don't really play a whole lot of this unless I'm playing with someone or we're recording. Right. And But currently, the the flavor of the month is a game called Starbound, which is... um, I sent a copy to you, and we've talked about it a little bit, but it's Mm -hmm. it's a little bit like Terraria, but more sci-fi with guns okay. and such and it's a lot of I've fun heard, I've heard it's a fun game I'm it's a lot of fun. To check it out. yeah and heck if you like it maybe we'll do a series of that after this that'd be cool there's six main bosses before the final boss in that game I've only fought the first one so I, I don't know what to tell you other than that so um the last time I played Valheim was a little while ago. I heard there were some updates. Yeah, wrong? they updated a lot of the AI pathfinding and combat abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, they updated, I'm trying to remember, some of the textures. Um, they gave more screenshots for the Hearth and Home update, but it's still not complete. They're, I mean, that one's been in the works for a long while. Right, but so they're they're still plugging away. Cool. Um, trying to think what else. I heard I something can't. about the trolls. I don't know. Oh, um, yeah, their their overhead smash attack. You can block that now. Oh, nice. Um, because of like, I just assumed you can't block the overhead smash. But somebody pointed it out to the devs, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's a bug. That's not supposed to be like that. I'm like, oh, okay. I just assumed that was, like, their attack that you couldn't block, so you had to dodge. Hmm. Well, that's good that somebody pointed it out to them. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Move the card over here. Pick up some rocks. All right. Dang it. I'll be right back. All right. Just getting some rocks, cause because we have iron now, we can do the stone cutter. Ooh, stone cutter! Duh. We can make the grindstone, which levels up the. Um, oh wait, I'm doing the wrong direction. I want to do this way, not the other way. I know it seems redonkulous, like I'm grabbing a ton of stone, but it goes quickly when you're building with it. You'll see what I mean. 
but if we can make the stone cutter, which let's see, looking, looking, stone cutter, stone cutter. It's two iron, four stone, and ten wood. Ah! Can you tell I'm rusty? It's that one there. And take one out of my stack. Let's see. Five. Stone cutter. Okay. So if we have a stone cutter and it's covered. On stone cutter out of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You're so funny! You oh, are, hilarious. actually. Okay, I built the sharpening stone, which then we go back into the menu. Sharpening stone makes a grinding wheel. A 25 wood, which I have. Eventually, I will get these controls down again. Will you though? Yeah. Cause I'm a flipping corduroy. I know it's funny. Like I, uh, it's been so long since I've played that, like, I'm trying to remember how to do certain things. <laughs> right. I'm sitting here pressing all the wrong buttons, getting all frustrated with myself. I'm like, I just want to play the game. Let's see, is that gonna fit there? Uh. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move that. I'm gonna set this as far over as I can. And then we're gonna craft anvils. Oh no. We're gonna move the forge cooler and craft anvils as close to the grinding wheel as we can. Then we're gonna craft the forge cooler. I didn't think you should be able to craft it there, but it works. Aha, our forge is level four now. Which means if we take some browns, we can upgrade. Okay, let's see, how much is it? It's nine for that, nine for that, nine for that. <sighs> we don't have enough for both of us to upgrade even one piece of armor per person. I mean, we have enough for one of us to do one piece of armor, but not enough for both of us to do one piece of Go armor. Go ahead. I don't I don't need the armor right now. Okay. Twist my arm. Let's see. Jacob, I'm not there. I can't twist your arm, dude. Or... Not sure. I mean, do you think I'm there or something? Because, I mean... I do. I do think you're here. If I'm there, then that's, you know, it's a conversation we probably need to I'm have a different. upgrade <laughs> my helmet. Because that's the one I leave on the most. That's right. I run around in my skivvies. You can't stop me either! Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Let's see. I want to make an iron shield. Banded shield. There it is. Ten fine wood. Yeah, show you ten fine wood. <laughs> I don't want to see your ten fine wood. Banded shield. Crafty, crafty. Oh, I didn't pick the style. I should have picked the style. I'm an idiot. Well, this board is level four. Yeah. Because I put a a sharpening stone. 
Dang, Daniel. It oh. is sleeping on my bike time. Yeah. There's a stack of 22 iron in here for your discretionary use. Okay. I used eight of mine for um, a shield, one of mine, and one of our, like, because we had an odd number, mm -hmm. um, to make the stone cutter. Gotcha. <clears throat> Dang, we're getting lots of rain. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. It's kind of funny because we've been getting a lot of rain here in Arizona, too. Cool, cool. Yeah. You guys like need it. Yeah, we do. All the fires and everything we've had this year. Mm hmm. It's been a hot year. It has. We got a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? No, we, we actually. We got a. A heat advisory warning the other day. Because it really? was. Yeah, it was 95, but it felt like 105. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, poor bit of us. <laughs> oh no, whatever shall we do? <laughs> And, like, the crazy thing is, to some people, like, that is redonkulously hot to them. But I'm like, I grew up in the desert. This is nothing. Quit your whining. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming with a wagon full of goodies. Don't hurt the goodies. <coughs> Not my goodies. So now that we're over here, do you want to tell everybody the secret of what we're doing? Oh, yeah. You you can tell them. It was your idea. You're, you're the genius mastermind. You tell them. Okay. Sorry, I'm just finishing my chip. You get it, So, man. what we're doing here is we have this little, I you know it's kind of hard to see right now, but we have this little uh, pond area over here. We want to make a house on top of the water and have like a, uh, a hole in the middle for fishing purposes. Um, it's kind of just a a thought right now, but you know, we'll start from somewhere and see if we can make something cool over the water. Yep. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be legendary. Wait for it. Dare. Dare. <laughs> Ready spaghetti. Let's see. Building <laughs> columns. <laughs> I 
think I'm, I'm doing some pretty baller moves here. Don't ever let me say that again. I'm, I'm like leaning to see if I can see around the block. That's not how this works. Oh, nice. You're making uh, a stone base. Stone. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Me too. See, I'm leaning again because I'm like, I can see around it if I just lean a little farther. But it doesn't work that way. So what did you guys have for dinner? Um, I had leftover pizza. Nice. What kind of pizza? Cheese pizza. Phoenix is picky about toppings. Like, if mm -hmm. you ask her what she wants on pizza, almost invariably she says broccoli. <laughs> and I'm still not sure why. Because she doesn't like broccoli. Unless it's raw and smothered in ranch. That's funny. To be fair, though, most kids don't like uh, don't like toppings on pizza. Yeah, but so then I'll be like, "Well, do you want chicken?" She's like, "Yeah, chicken." I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So chicken, and I'll get pizza with like chicken and bacon because that's what I like. And then it'll come, and she'll be like, "I don't like that stuff." And so she'll sit there and pick it all off. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, why did I buy a pizza with chicken and bacon? If you didn't want a pizza with chicken and bacon after telling me you wanted a pizza with chicken and bacon. <laughs> and so it's, it's our, uh, it's our regular conundrum going on. Fine. So, question for you. How far over do we want to build this? Um, I don't know. We think in just like a... Like a circular type of thing? Or... Are we thinking about building like... All the way down this? I don't know. How far do you want to go? I was just getting a base started. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to envision it. That makes sense. It does make sense. I don't have much of a vision, though. I just like building. Last year I had 2020 vision. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had 2020 vision for a long time. It's actually like 2018. <laughs> or 2022. Whatever is worse. When was the last time I actually saw you? Um. 2018. Was, was it 2018? Um, no, it was 2017 because it was the same year Phoenix was born. No, I'm pretty sure she was a year old when you guys came. Was she a year old? Okay, then yeah, it would have been 2018. Wait, no. It was December. Yeah. I know that. I want to say it was the end of 2018, which would have been shortly before her first birthday. Hmm. Okay. I'm not 100% certain on that. Didn't you guys celebrate her birthday here? Uh, no, we celebrated Christmas with my family. Because her birthday's in April. Her birthday's right before yours. Yeah, hers is on the 19th? 18th. 18th? Yeah, her birthday is 4-18-18. 4-18-18. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was definitely... 
December 2018 that you guys were here. She was only six months old when you guys came here? I thought so. I didn't think she was quite a year. Huh. Either way, that was a while ago. <laughs> you know what we need over here? We need a raft. A raft? Yeah, for building purposes. Because, like, yeah. building on water is difficult unless you have somewhere to stand. I'm gonna go grab some... Yeah, I don't have... I have deer hide, I don't have regular leather, so I'm gonna grab some leather scraps. Probably okay. make a raft. Biz says when I'm not recording with you, I sound super, like, monotone and just like, meh. She's like, but then you're <laughs> recording with Nate and it's like, you're actually smiling and having fun. It's like, yeah, I genuinely like having time, spending time with my friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's that and also it's less awkward to not, uh, not just be talking to yourself. You know? Right. I always think it's funny. Those those people that do YouTube videos that uh, like they're just staring at the camera, talking to the camera. That's got to be really awkward at times. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so good at the all by myself. Just sort of like, because like when you have someone else to talk to, it's easier to make conversation and be like, yeah, so like we're going to do this. And like you have someone to bounce ideas off of. Right. But then when you're all by yourself, it's just like, so I'm gonna do this. Now watch me do it. <laughs> Damn. I'm really not being very productive right now. Hey, I'm that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You do you, boo. I will do my boo. You have a boo? I... I, I missaid that. I, I meant to say I will do me boo, but that still sounds weird. <laughs> anyway, moving on. You sound slightly more British. <laughs> <laughs> I will me... I will do me boo. <laughs> So how long have we been recording for? Oh, farts. I have not been... Uh, I didn't set a timer. About 30 minutes. Cool. You want to call this an episode? <laughs> we, have, we have half a foundation. Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we'll try and actually make some progress on the next one. <laughs> this, is, this is just sort of catching up. Like, <laughs> where have we been? What have we been doing? <laughs> Let's see. I want to at least finish this little post. Ah, you go there. No! Get back on there, you silly little fluff monster. <laughs> you feel cold. No crap, I'm neck deep in water. In the middle of the night. <laughs> ah, killed him. Now we can end the episode. <laughs> well, folks, thank you for tuning in to the newest episode of, uh... Valheim and Shenanigans. Valheim and Shenanigans. New series title. New series title. Valheim and Shenanigans. I mean, currently I just call it Valheim and then whatever part it is. So <laughs> I think this is what, part 18, 19, somewhere on there? Ballpark? Uh, you know, by the, time we on complete, screen. by the time we complete this, it's going to be like a hundred part series. <laughs> <laughs> No, it won't take that long. I hope. <laughs> I hope we're a little more productive than that, but... Eh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's the fun part. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.